Okay, I'm here with Tosin Oke, okay, Nigerian triple jump champion. Just finished eighth in the final at the world, 16.81, I believe. Fantastic. Um, how how was it for you out there today? Uh, out there it was, it was good. It was mi mixed emotions really. Um, I'm at the level where I should expect to come get into the final. I made the final, which is good. And then I'm also at the level where I expect to come top eight, which is the the holy grail. We always, always try and make top eight. I mean that's the start, and I made top eight, so that was good. But um, yeah, I'm disappointed really. My federation, their gift to me coming into this champs was to make us jump and worry, and I got a bruised foot. So no one offered to help me out with my medical cost for a bruised foot. So I'm here with a bruised foot. So to make the final, come eighth with a bruised foot, which means anytime I put my foot down it hurts, is uh, a fantastic achievement. Yeah, let's talk about that a little. Um, there was a story going around that uh, you had to pay for your own flight to worry for the national championships. Is that true or not? Or That is definitely true. And I'm still waiting for my refund for my flight. So I'm here being owed $2,500 by my federation, who uh, yeah, a bit, a bit clueless if you ask me. So, um, you know, they invest uh, heavily in one person, as we all know, and uh, they invested zero dollars in me all year. And that myself and that one person both came eighth in the World Champs, and that should tell you a lot. So, um, you know, when you're ready to support me, let's get it on. Well, that's, that's tough. I mean, how do you continue to compete and fly all the way to Beijing under these kind of conditions? Uh, it's very tough. I mean, luckily for me, I've got a great sponsor in Mizuno, fantastic sponsor. I've got a great family, and, and I do well. I mean, I do well in terms of I go to all the Diamond League. So, you know, my sponsors respect my level in the world, um, top eight, you know, and I have great respect for myself. I look after myself and I've always tried to do, be my best at all times. So it's, it's hard to take a lot of the time, you know, especially when you, when you hear that people are getting five figures or one person getting five figures a month and you're getting zero. So it's hard to take. Um, but, you know, I, I'm also a champion. I'm also, you know, one of the top, world's top eight, clearly. So we, we bat aside nonsense like that and we get on with life and that's what I've always tried to do. Well really sorry to hear that but let's just get back to the competition for a second. Now in the rounds yesterday um, you qualified for the final with your last jump. What's going through your mind on your third jump in the qualifying when you know you need to record a, a long distance? What's going through your mind at that point? Uh, I mean I've got a lot of experience. I'm 34 years old aka Nigerian age 24 so I've got a lot of experience which is a, it's the big thing and also I mean, my coach is here, you know, I paid for my coach to come out here as well, so, um, so not only am I owed X amount of money, I'm also owed an extra whatever for my coach coming out here. So my coach is here and my coach believes in me. He used to coach Philip Sido, who is another world-class triple jumper, Nigerian, who competed for Britain. So my coach is here, he just told me to trust in what we've been doing all year and uh, I trusted in it and I came through on the last jump. And, you know, if you're, if you're a novice, you might start panicking and chopping and doing all kinds of other things. but. You know, I've been doing it for a while now, and I've been world class for a while now. So you kind of know what to do, and you know what it takes, and you just put it together. And that's what I've always tried to do. And uh, in the final, I think your 1681 was in your second jump. I think the last three jumps were no marks. Um, were you trying to get, get as far out as you could, maybe get past 17 meters? I mean, 17 meters normally for me is something that I do every year. Um, it's, I wasn't trying, I mean, if you can imagine every time you walked, when you're walking, someone hitting a hammer on the heel of your foot. And then triple jump, you put six times body weight on your foot. So imagine the pain. So every time I put my foot down, that's what I feel. So it takes a t different kind of man to be able to take that. And um, you know, that's, that's what I was going through. So I was trying to stretch out, but obviously the body has physical limitations and having a hammer smashed on your foot every time you jump is not a nice thing. And, and that, was, that was a limiting factor today, which is a real shame because really I could have got a medal. So I mean, 1750 is a big jump, but that's what that's the path I was on all year until uh, I got a bruised foot and worry, thanks to my federation. Speaking of big jumps, I mean, 1821 to win. I mean, I think that's the second furthest jump ever. And what do you think about that? Fantastic. And uh, Christian owes me some money because uh, he knows every time I, I cheer someone on on the side, they jump big. Same as Nelson. Nelson will tell you. Um, I said to him, get it together. Let's go. And, um, and he put out a big jump. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic achievement. Great jump. And I'm happy for the boys. Final question for you, what are your hopes for the Olympics next year? I mean, how much, how much longer do you think you're going to go? You said you're 34 now. Um, I want to do another Olympics. Uh, technically speaking, I've already qualified. Uh, oh, I didn't jump 16.90 today, so it's nice to do more, more qualifications. I've already qualified in terms of jumping distance, so I will be doing the Olympics next year, God willing. And, um, and then the last majors I'll probably do is 2017 uh, London. I don't have to travel too far, the World Championships. And then 
I'll probably be calling it a day and, and enjoying fatherhood a little bit more. So um, yeah, that's my, those are my plans. Fantastic. Now, do you think you could um, continue representing Nigeria for the next two years under the current conditions? It's hard. It's going to be hard. Um, it's going to be hard. I, I, I definitely, it's going, to, it's going to be hard. Changes need to be made, but everyone talks. I mean, I heard some officials on the coach talking absolute rubbish, shouting, 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 and they just got no clue. No clue about how sports should be run. No clue. So it's going to be hard, but we'll see. I, I will just try. I will do me. I will support some of the younger athletes. I support some of the younger athletes anyway. So I have some of them come to my house in London and, and train with me. So it's going to be hard, but you know what? People who are professionals get on with the job, and that's what I try and do. All right, final, final question. You talked about enjoying fatherhood just now. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, it's a fantastic experience, and I'm missing my daughter right now. She's uh, cheering for me at home. She's really, really young, only a few months old. So um, hi, daughter. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm doing it Michael Jackson style, so no, no one will know or see her. We could keep it that way. But um, she's a fantastic little thing, so uh, I can't wait to see her, to be honest. All right, thanks so much for your time, Christian, and uh, good luck for the Olympics and the Worlds in the next two years. Excellent, thank you very much.